Good morning, everyone. I have a confession to make this morning. I've been sort of misleading you guys on something pretty major up until this point. All summer long, I pretty much get to wear a t-shirt and shorts and a pair of old gym sneakers that have now become work sneakers. So that's my confession. I usually put on a nicer pair of jeans and t-shirt to see you guys, but when it's 100 degrees outside, which is what it's gonna be today, this is generally what I wear. And as it gets warmer, the shorts go to jeans, the hoodie comes on, then the Carhartt comes out, the North Face, and by February I want to jump off a bridge. But that's what it is, that's my confession. Now let's get back to business. The last time I brought you guys to Plainview One, there was some Tyvek being wrapped on the house. It was basically just a big wooden cardboard box. Wait till I take you guys inside. We're absolutely on fire. We got the sidewalk going in today. The masonry is all done. And now it's time to focus on closing up these walls on the interior. If you want to be respected in this business, you have to practice what you preach. And if you take a look around this job site, follow me this way, you're going to see nothing but a spotless job site. You're going to think I'm crazy, but when I was bored yesterday, I even vacuumed between those studs on that wall. That's not normal, but it looks nice and clean. They had done a lot of drilling above, so it was really bothering me and the broom would have taken forever. But we're back in this place. You guys, basically last time you were here, it was very hard to make out the rooms. We're standing in the dining room, the kitchen's over there. That big room that we walked into is gonna be a huge living room, family room kind of setup. The TV's gonna go on that wall, and I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do with respect to creating a accent wall. I might do something like a reclaimed wood on that wall with a mantle, we're still figuring that out. This is a crucial feature of every build. I got a full bath and a guest bedroom. It's not the biggest room, but for someone that has a family member that's living with them or wants a guest bedroom on the first floor, I found that this is a crucial feature. Okay, I was up here sweeping one more time, getting this place nice and tidy for all of you. I'm just gonna quickly walk you around the second floor now. I wasn't able to get a completely open second floor foyer. This is not the biggest of houses. It's 2,800 square feet. So that's gonna be an open foyer to the second floor, but only for that small area. You got four bedrooms up here. One, two, laundry full bath, we got a bedroom over here, that's number three, and then this is the master suite. This is my favorite part of the house. Got a huge sleeping area, the bed's gonna go on that wall, the TV's gonna go over there, and then this little hallway splits the bathroom and the walk-in closet. This bathroom is gonna be one of the nicest bathrooms I've ever made. I've got a six foot vanity on this wall. I got the toilet over here with a little bit of privacy with that wall and a huge walk-in shower with a bench. Underneath this window, centered perfectly, is gonna be a nice soaking tub and this closet over here is gonna be awesome. The door's gonna open inside and then as you come around, there's gonna be shelvings and drawers through this entire space. one step closer to that finished pinnacle backyard. We're on the market now and I'm really trying to get this curb appeal maxed out. The last missing piece after today's fencing job is going to be the sod. That's what gives it that golf course like appearance. I'm going to get some topsoil delivered next week after Labor Day, lay out all the sod. We're on the market. I'm looking to get this thing in contract in the next 30 to 45 days and we're going to be one step closer today once all this work is done. So what makes this build record breaking? This is a personal record for me for the fastest I've ever put up a new construction. And that doesn't mean any quality was sacrificed. That just means that the subs lined up the right way and the weather lined up the right way. And this is the best and fastest I've ever been able to put up a new construction ever. So this is part of that new construction series. Go back before we even dug the hole for the foundation. I wish somebody had shared with me all of this information when I was starting out. Check out the new construction series, 
part two, the second house, Plainview 2, starts next week or the week after. I'll be knocking that house down. And I can't wait to show you guys what these things look like when they're 100% complete. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and if you don't already follow me on Instagram, at Pinnacle Real Estate, daily content like this. I look forward to bringing you guys along for the next episode. Have a great day, everyone.